Over the past three years, you have seen me review hundreds of AI tools on this channel. Most of them do just one specific thing. Some generate images, others build presentations, and some create videos. But what if I told you there is this one AI tool that basically does all of that and a ton more, all in the same spot? Stick around, you gotta see this. This tool is called ChatLLM by Abacus.ai. Well, despite its name, it's not just a chatbot. Yeah, it chats, but it also builds AI apps, create videos, images, PowerPoints, does deep research, scrapes videos and websites, writes code, and can even humanize AI-generated text. Think all those AI tools you know, ChatLLM has basically gathered them into one platform. So, without further ado, let's see its features in detail. ChatLLM's interface might remind you of ChatGPT, but it comes with some significant differences. Here, you can see all my conversations. This is the main area. At the top, there is a button to switch between the available chatbots, while the bottom section offers options for generating various types of content. You can choose from 19 different LLMs, including all the popular ones like ChatGPT4, Claude Sonnet, Gemini Pro, and of course DeepSeek. You can also use any of the existing custom chatbots or even create your own. If you are unsure which one to select, go for the root LLM option. Root LLM automatically chooses the appropriate chatbot based on your prompt, directing you to the model that excels at the given task. If you want to, you can enable web search to retrieve up-to-date information or incorporate specific files to guide the AI. You can upload various file types, such as documents, images, PowerPoints, and more. Let's see it in action. Assume I want help writing the objectives for an e-learning training program I'm designing. First, I'll type my prompt, giving as much detail as possible. I'll also add some documents to guide the AI. I'll upload the modules of the training program and also include some documents I've already used for a previous project. Let me now add some additional things to the prompt before giving it a go. As you see, RootLLM sends the task to ChatGPT. From what I see, the response is pretty accurate and includes all sources used. But notice this little option over here? ChatLLM allows you to regenerate an answer using a different AI model if you are not satisfied with its initial response. As I've told you in the introduction, ChatLLM also supports image generation. It uses models like Flux Pro, DAL-E and Ideogram to achieve this. For instance, let's say I need an image of a cyberpunk ninja. I'll use Flux 1.1 Ultra and set the number of images to 4. I'll then type my prompt, making sure that I give as many details as possible. I don't have an image to use as a reference, so I'll skip these options. I'll only set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9. Let's see what we're gonna get. Detailed and to the point. Nice. By the way, if you want to learn how to make awesome AI images, make sure to check my AI image generation infographic found in the video's description. And it's not just that. Check this out. I'll change the model to ideogram and ask for a detailed portrait of a charcoal sketch of a minion as the Mona Lisa. Ideogram offers different options as you see. I'll set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9 again and change the style to anime. <laughs> the images are exactly as I requested. But I want to show you this. ChatLLM even lets you edit the images further. I'll click on one of the images and select the one that I like the most. Maybe try this. I'll click the brush on top, which is actually the in-paint feature, paint somewhere around here and ask for something else. Maybe we can go for a little yellow minion bird made of paper that's also smirking. Just lovely. 
ChatLLM also lets you mess around with code in what they call a code playground. Basically, you hit this button and a safe sandbox environment is set up where you can test out your app ideas. Watch this React game I asked for for my four-year-old son about a dinosaur that jumps over obstacles when you hit the spacebar key. ChatLLM delegated this task to Claude, which went on and built the game in front of me. Needless to say, I can tweak it however I want and when I'm done, I can download the whole game or just grab its code. Just imagine the possibilities. I'm not really a PowerPoint fan, but let me show you how easily ChatLLM can create a presentation. First, I'll click the PowerPoint Gen button. Then, I'll select any documents I want to include. Then, I'll simply type the topic of the presentation, giving as much details as possible. Now, the AI questions me about the number of slides I want maybe something from 12 to 15. The AI generated the content for the presentation in text format. I can ask for refinements if I want to, but let's stick to what we got. At this point, the AI asks me to pick a template for the presentation. I'll go for the artsy one, which I guess is the more artistic. After waiting for a couple of minutes, the presentation is ready. Well, it's not impressive, but it gets the job done. Honestly, the presentations are the weakest feature of ChatLLM, but the next one is really great. We all know that ChatGPT kinda sucks for academic research, right? Fake sources, weird repetitive phrasing, hallucinations, yeah. Well, ChatLLM fixes all that. This is how. First, make sure RootLLM is selected. Then, turn on Deep Research and type what you are researching. Finally, upload any relevant papers or notes you might have and hit enter. Be patient as it will take a significant amount of time to perform an in-depth search. And look at this, it found 30 real sources and created a reply with actual statistics and facts. As far as I can tell, no weird hallucinations or made-up stuff like you sometimes get with ChatGPT. And if you are not convinced about ChatLLM yet, wait until you see its next feature. Okay, this might be one of my favorite parts of ChatLLM, making videos from text prompts. ChatLLM it has several AI video models built in, Hiulo, Luma Labs, Runaway, Kling, Vio and others. Like image generators, each video model has unique settings so you can pick the one that suits you best. Let's test it. I'll pick Kling, go into Pro Mode because I want to animate a picture of mine, this one here. Let's say I want flames coming out of my hands, kinda like Till Lindemann from Rammstein. I'll increase this bar's value to make sure the generated video follows my prompt and yeah, wait. Whoa, seriously? Look at that! That's impressive! And get this, Kling's Pro Plan costs $25 a month by itself, but here you get access to it as well as the other video generators with the $10 subscription to ChatLLM. ChatLLM has a few more tricks up its sleeve. You can give it a website and have it scrape the information or give it a YouTube link and ask it to analyze the video. For example, let's have it analyze my latest YouTube video. These are exactly the five tools I reviewed. Super handy when I want to quickly grab the key points from a long video. Basically, this feature replaced all those browser extensions I used to use for analyzing content from YouTube. There is also the document generation feature. I use this sometimes after a long chat session to get a quick summary with the main takeaways. Let's try to generate a document based on the imaginary training course we created earlier. And here it is, easy peasy, right? There is another super handy feature. See this tab over here? It's called Projects on the left side menu. It lets you create separate areas like dedicated workspaces for different tasks or topics. Inside each project, you can have ongoing conversations that all follow the same custom instructions you set up for that specific project. Plus, any files you upload to the project are used as a reference for all future conversations. Think of it like perplexity spaces. Honestly, 
I use this all the time whenever I start a new task, like scripting a video or planning a course, I create a project for it. It keeps everything tidy in one spot and saves me a ton of time because I don't have to keep typing the same instructions or uploading the same background documents over and over again. And yeah, you can also invite other people to collaborate within these projects, making it great for teamwork. Whoa, I almost forgot this one. ChatLLM packs so much, it is easy to miss something. ChatLLM has this thing called AppLLM, which is an AI that builds simple applications for you, even if you don't know how to code. Like say your local school needs a basic website. You can go into AppLLM, feed it all the details about the school, programs, contact info, whatever, and then you just watch it build the website in front of you. Obviously, it takes a little while, but then it's ready. You can preview it, even deploy it live. Super exciting stuff, especially if coding isn't your thing. Okay, don't ask me how they are doing this, but ChatLLM is only $10 a month. Seriously, if you paid for separate subscriptions for a good chatbot, an image generator, a video tool, a research assistant, you would easily be spending over $100 a month. Plus, you would be uh, constantly switching between them all. This is just wow. Look, ChatLLM is awesome. Honestly, it's an amazing platform that kind of blew me away with everything it can do. And it can do many things. Imagine I'm still finding new features. I don't think I have ever given a tool such a high score before, but it deserves it. In fact, if I had to choose a single AI tool to use from now on, I would have definitely picked ChatLLM. And on top of that, it's so cheap. If you also want to take advantage of it, please go ahead and grab it from the affiliate link in the video's description. So yeah, ChatLLM is definitely one of the coolest tools I have used lately. But hey, maybe you feel differently. If you want to see what other AI tools people like, check out our massive survey video where 200 tools battled for the best AI apps of 2024. Till the next time, see you.